trick. So I'm going to launch this, and this is basically an overview of what it is that you are supposed to do. There's really nothing you can do wrong, um, it, particularly with the simulation. It's just really about experimenting and playing. Um, I've said this several times um, in different contexts, but I think that the idea of um, playing is one of the best ways to learn something. And so what I'm doing here is I'm basically, what, what you are doing is you're, you're graphing um, two variables. One is the distance that someone is running or walking or proceeding in a path uh, against the time that it takes them to do so. So what we have here is the representation of how many times um, something is being measured. So how many points of measurement are being taken. In this case, there are two points when they start and when they finish at four seconds. So you can increase that number of points of measure as many as you want. So you can kind of just go ahead and increase that to whatever you want. And again, the, the most important thing that I can emphasize is that just play with this a little bit and think about what you're doing as you do it. After I show you this, uh, this should make at least enough sense for you to be able to play and learn some things that you need to understand. So obviously leave these on because uh, when you take those away, you don't see what you want to see. So I'd leave the show animations or the graph. You can you can add a runner to the to the um, animation, although I won't do that right now. I'm just going to take them off because uh, I, I just want to focus on one for right now. But uh, if you're having a hard time with this, basically spend a little time doing um, and I'll just go with this. Go If you go with one point, this person is going to run uh, or, or, or proceed from point zero, which is here on the graph, to 40 meters, which is here. And they're going to do it at a steady rate because this is a flat or a straight line at, a, at the same slope um, in four seconds. So you'll see the timer go and it'll say four seconds and they will reach the 40 yard or 40 meter mark. So you just hit the green button, ding. And there you go. So that's what we expected to see. So what you're seeing is that in, in one second, they're traveling 10 yard, 10 meters. In two seconds, they're traveling 20 meters. In three seconds, they've gone 30 meters. And this is nice about the simulation. You can drag this back to any time frame you want. You can say at three minutes, or I'm sorry, three seconds, where were they? They were on the 30 meter mark, right? And we can see that clearly on the, on the display down here too. So that's a really simple display of that. But if you wanna make it more complicated, which I'd like you to, is what I'd like you to do is just play around with these a little bit and, and try to predict what is going to happen on the illustration. So when you do this, I kind of want you to see this and I'll do an explanation of it. Um, when I look at this, when I look at this graph, I'm going to interpret this. This person is going to run from the zero line starting point and they're going to run at a, at a pace about the same as we, what we just saw because the slope is the same. And then they're going to, they're, they're going to reach the 10 meter mark and they're going to stop. And this represents someone stopping or standing still. And they're going to stand there for one second, and then they're going to run faster than they were running before because now what they're doing is they're covering a greater distance. They're going from 10 meters to 20 to 30. So this is, a, this is an increase of, of 20 meters, and they're doing that in the same time frame, one second, that they did 10 meters in one second. Now they're doing they're doing 20 meters in one second. So they're running twice as fast. So this is how this is represented on the graph. And that's what this lab is about. It's the importance of being able to look at a graph and interpret what's going on um, or vice versa, being able to look at what's going on and think about what it would look like on a graph. So that's what this is. And again, I can only say um, the most important thing you can do is to play with this and just kind of mess around with it, predict. And if you just mess and you keep on doing it without thinking about what you're doing, it's just like when we're in science class and if you're just playing with the materials and you're not thinking about what you're doing, you won't gain as much as if you're playing, but thinking. So right now I'm going to predict he's going to run, he's going to stop for a second, and then he's going to run faster. And then he's going to run the same pace as if he started out. So that's what this is. And he's going to reach the 40 yard mark. So I click the green button, ding, running, 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 stop, run, 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 run. 
There you go. Now there, it was very hard to see um, maybe the difference between here and here, whether that was a faster pace than this, but, and it might be hard to notice. Let's see if we can notice it here. Yeah, this is very noticeable. So that's what's nice about this simulation is you can drag this back and start it from there. You can drag it back and see where they're at at different times. That's what this is about. So if you add a, a second runner in here, um, you got a second runner, you can basically have a race with them. And obviously you can have them both finish. Uh, just add a complexity here. I just want to show you that this would be indicating that the person is running to the 10 meter mark and then they're running back to zero and then they're running on. And so this is a good example of a strange situation that may or may not represent reality. But if you're in a race, this person that's blue would be running at a very steady pace and really fast here, and then they start to slow down quite a bit. Whereas the red runner is gonna run at a very steady pace, and then they're gonna run back to the beginning point for whatever reason, and after two seconds, they're going to run as fast as they possibly can. And they're going to continue to run as fast as they can. And they're both going to finish at the same time at four seconds, right? So it's a kind of a strange example of a race, but I want you to see this going up and then going down. That's a representation of not a person going up a hill and down a hill, but a person running to the 10 meter mark and then running back to the zero mark. So this represents uh, the, the, the distance from zero that they're at. So watch. Look at that. There you go. So again, you can drag it back. You can kind of see where they are in comparison to one another right here. And that's what we're noticing there. So once you're done with that and you've played enough, come down here and try your best to answer these questions.